All right, so in this problem, I have a to the power of x is equal to 80. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite 80 here as 8 times 10. So now I have a to the power of x is equal to 8 times 10. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 8. So now I have a to the power of x over 8 is equal to 10. So if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So a to the power of x over a to the power of 1, that's going to equal a to the power of x minus 1, which is equal to 10. Now, 8 here is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 10. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x minus 1. That's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times x minus 1, which is equal to 10. And I can distribute the 3, so I get 2 to the power of 3x minus 3 is equal to 10. Now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log 2 to the power of 3x minus 3 is equal to log 10. And log 10 is equal to 1. So I get 1 is equal to 3x minus 3 times log 2 because I can move this to the front. And now if I divide both sides by log 2, these two cancel out and I get 3x minus 3 is equal to 1 over log 2. And now I can add 3 on both sides. So I get 3x is equal to 1 over log 2 plus 3. And if I divide both sides by 3, I get x is equal to 1 over 3 log 2 plus 1. Alright, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x is equal to 36. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log 9 to the power of x is equal to log 36. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 9 to the power of x. And I can move x to the front. Now I have x times log 9 is equal to log 36. Now if I divide both sides by log 9, these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to log 36 over log 9. Now, log 36, I can rewrite that as log of 9 times 4. So I have this over log 9. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, log of 9 times 4, that's going to equal log 9 plus log 4. And I have this over log 9. Now, this is the same thing as log 9 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9. Now log 9 and log 9, these two cancel out. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log 4 over log 9. And log 4, that's the same thing as 2 squared. So I get 1 plus 
log of 2 squared over log 9. This is 3 squared, so log of 3 squared. And remember, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move b to the front. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 2 log 2 over 2 log 3. These two 2s cancel out, so I get x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 3. All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 6. Now I'm going to find, find the value of x. So for my solution, I start with 9 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 6. And I'm actually going to take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So now I have 9 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x is equal to x to the power of 6 to the power of 1 over x. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 9 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x, that's going to equal 9 to the power of x times 1 over x. And x to the power of 6 to the power of 1 over x, that's going to equal x to the power of 6 times 1 over x. Now x times 1 over x, these two cancel out, so it's just, I'm simply left with 9, is equal to 6 times 1 over x, which is 6 over x. Now I'm going to take the power of 1 over 6 on both sides. So now I have 9 to the power of 1 over 6 is equal to x to the power of 6 over x to the power of 1 over 6. And again, this is going to equal x to the power of 6 over x times 1 over 6. These two cancel out. So now I'm left with 9 to the power of 1 over x is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now, 9 is the same thing as 3 squared, so I get 3 squared to the power of 1 over 6 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. 2 and 6, these make 3, so I get 3 to the power of 1 third is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And notice how this is in the form x to the power of 1 over x, a number to the power of 1 over that same number is equal to x to the power of 1 over x, meaning x is simply equal to 3. So now to check, my original equation was 9 to the power of x equals x to the power of 6. So I get 9 to the power of 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 6. And 9 is the same thing as 3 squared, so I get 3 squared to the power of 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 6 which is 3 to the power of 6 is equal to 3 to the power of 6.